So I found this pretty spicy list. Um, someone did well in like a Japanese tournament with it, I guess, like a weekly or something like that, and it was enough to interest me. <clears throat> it's like Saga, Dreadnought, Depth, Stompy. So you have Urza Saga, you have Thespian Stage with Dark Depths, you have uh, eight Sphere Effects, and then you also just have like Miko Synth Gardens and like one Dreadnought. Um, so, I don't know. And you get to play Giganta, uh, because nothing has more than one mana symbol. So, I don't know, the deck looks pretty wild. Um, whenever I see something like this, I have to try it. The only thing I would say off the top is there's no loam, which it seems like you probably want a loam, but uh, I always like, I just want to play it as is to, to really feel it. There are like very few green mana sources. Uh, I guess you have four petal, three diamond, that's seven, eight, nine, Besage, ten, and then obviously Amigo Sin's Garden, but it costs one, so. Yeah, let's see how it goes. No. Merfolk actually seems like probably unwinnable. Damn, these hands on the play, though, huh? On the play, pretty good hand. I mean, I'll probably have to keep on the draw. Maybe they have the vial. Dude, it's so insane how these decks never don't have vial. It's so fucking irritating. Honestly, if it, if if it, I should have played map first, I guess. But uh, I, I mean, I'm supposed to mold this just because of the double thorns. The so post where we get priest, priest, plow, engineer. That's about it. They waste here. I'd probably just scoop, I guess. Okay. Gardens is an interesting one. Uh, it's kind of sus to get a Saga because they do run, um, what's it called? Tide Shaper, which will just sinkhole me. So what do I want then? I guess I can get like a Besaju. I mean, they haven't had it. They probably would have done it already, right? Yeah, I guess getting like a saga is really my only chance to do anything. Uh, the Tormod's Crypt, just what we wanted. Three mana hard cast days incoming. They're force of willing my lodestone. That's awesome. Okay. They, they didn't have a one drop or a two drop. They just have multiple true names. They left it on two. What did they keep? They just drew a wasteland. The fuck is this card? This card looks annoying as fuck. Well, probably take the pass, I guess. You may look at the top card of your library. You may cast Merfolk Fells. And then when you cast them, you may pay one. Huh. None to artifact you control. Not drawing lands in our you know, 28 land deck kind of sucks. I 
Yeah, I guess keeping a hand with two thorns versus Mofolk is just like literally just mulling to five. I probably should just mold to six and actually see what it is. There's a trick. Wow, there was a trickster on top. That sucks. This has to be like the worst matchup of all time. They have the Tide Shapers to kill my sagas and tricksters to kill my tokens. <laughs> it's like the dream matchup. Dark Depths, I guess. I guess I could take one draw. Try to rip a stage. They have a merfolk on top. They do have a merfolk on top. Okay. Cause all right, now I should be dead. Cause they 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 ripped the lord. Should be dead now because even if I make a twenty twenty block here, take uh more than enough. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get in cards that matter. Uh, priest, priest, plow, plow, engineer, engineer. I don't mind haywire might. Thorns seem pretty bad. Tormod's crypt doesn't have text. The Jukabog doesn't have text. Karakas actually does have a lot of text. I mean, like a loadstone golem is pretty slow. Try something like this. I don't think we want Besaidu just for Vile. Looks like they just have Cavern and Vile, so. They run one Hercules Recall, so I can't wait for that to get fucking played against us. Okay. The old Dark Depths 2 lander. Hands have not been impressive at all. Okay, I guess. Wait, did I just, I just realized I had one land with double die. That's so sick. Fucking like 20 land decks, 27 lands, 28 lands. Deck's looking pretty bad. This gets forced. I get wasted. <laughs> right, 20. Yeah, I mean, I cut one land, so I guess 28. So 27 land deck. Just, just drawing one landers with a 27 land deck. And Vile. If I had a nickel every time a vile deck had it on turn one. Alright. Just gotta draw Lanskis. We rattle off uh, another land. We might have the shot. Saga into la like another land with him not having Wasteland is the best possible. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. Oh my god, that would've been so fucking nuts. That's brutal. Brutal, brutal. That's what happens. You try to play a deck, and then you get fucking merfolked. Oh, 
no! <laughs> no, I'm gonna die with a fucking Katamian Priest in my hand versus double vile. No, not like this. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> like such an absurd way to die. Why move to main too? <laughs> like what? So we're gonna go for a plow on this. Let them tick up thinking they have this ability to use. They've been missing land drops, so they had to have just drawn that, right? Like, this doesn't make any sense. How, how did they cover that in and have another two drop, but didn't have... Multiple two drops last turn. I don't understand. <sighs> like what? Like what? None of this makes any sense the way they're playing. Like, why did they cast this? They tapped out of, like, Sphere of Resistance when they had a free activation. I'm, I'm fucking lost. I probably would trade here. I think I have to trade. These are just going to attack me for eight. I can't actually play that right. I'm one short. Damn. Actually one short. Oh, I should have put Jagatha in hand. Oops. Should I could have put Jagantha in hand. I always have to have this popped out to remember. I forget I'm playing like a colorless deck and Gigant their hand has to be just like just force oil, right? They just drew a land for a turn. They haven't filed anything in. Their hand be like Hercules recalls, dismember. Trades deal. Okay. Trim 
picture. So they just... What did they... They had to have just drawn this. And they were they sandbagged Merfolk Trickster for like three turns? Four turns? I don't know. I really don't. Oh my god, that's so killer! Brutal draws, man. Should I get in for three? I can get in for three. Play Giganta. One, two, three, four, five. I can't play Giganta yet, right? Do I leave this on defense? I think them attacking for two is worse than me. Worse for me than me attacking. God, that second wasteland to stop my. I would have got. A, I guess at this point, I probably just gotten Shadow Spear. That'd probably just wrap it up. I don't think I want to Miko Synth guard in my Sphere Resistance right now. I kind of just want to play Giganta. Give Giganta resolves. Best draw is probably just naturally drawing Shadow Spear, I guess. I know it could be in their hand aside from just like islands. Like it's not Lords, right? Like Lords would have been played already. Yeah, drawing exactly trickster. <laughs> Wait, why didn't Okay. Well, I said good luck, have fun, which means we're 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 just fucked. Wow, we have we have this uh, we have turn two ancient tomb with Urza's workshop, so I'm gonna keep it. We actually have, to, I mean, technically it's turn one, but we get to go Saga, Crypt, Expedition map, which is kind of sick. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, we could even play that. If we draw Mox Diamond, huh? Scalding turn. What could this be, huh? Uh, what a cool deck. If they daze this, I think I'll let it go. And just pass. I'm 
Yeah, I think I let it go and just say go. So I'm not gonna date, but I could play Reclaimer here. My name is Pass. They have Wasteland, it's kinda rough. Probably Wasteland. Whenever they attack, it's like always a main phase two Wasteland for some reason instead of main phase one. <laughs> like, 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 it's so funny. I just don't, I don't get it. Oh, uh, we drew it, huh? It's like, yo, <laughs> just play it main phase two for some reason. It's like just moto things, you know? Got the bauble. No bauble. Wow. I should basically never play the game again. God, why don't everyone fucking blast then, huh? I don't think I'm supposed to sack here. I don't think I want. I think I'm gonna take the two damage. Now I can sack the Ancient Tomb. Yeah, they, they always have more lands, though. It's just, they always have more lands. Delver draws more lands than control, you know? So I think I'll get a uh, Urza Saga here. And just go for a win. Go, yeah, going for the Wastelands. Their hand all force of those. If they go to bolt me, I'll let the triggers resolve, obviously, and then just Tormod script them. Caracas, huh? So I think we're just going to get in for three here. So I drew that for turn, which could mean snuff out. A Merc Tide would only have, like, no fucking power, so not too concerned. Let's go get Shadow Spear. Like put him in the dirt. Like if they snuff it out, that's not the end of the world. Their hand has to be like snuff outs and counter spells, right?
take that. Oh yeah, bow mass. <laughs> it could be bow masters, I guess. I forgot that's a thing. I haven't really been stressing out too much about bow masters. All right, so they just drew that for turn. Okay. Lost a fucking merfolk. <laughs> beat. <laughs> beat fucking Delver, sure. Thorn didn't seem great. Is Thorn or Load Summer cutting? Lowstone is hard to get meltdown, but it does get bolted and snuffed out. So maybe Thorn's more annoying for them. I don't know. Yeah, I'm so annoyed. I was one off from this like bullet game. Literally one move off and just timed out like an idiot. This is pretty much the easiest game of chess I've ever played. This deck is so fucking weird. Alright. Sure. I think we get rid of the Mox Opal. Mox Opal early would be good though. It'd actually have Metalcraft pretty quickly. So I guess it's the second sphere. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. I see. So do me a favor. Just do this. Do decks, because the stupid uh, thing isn't working, but thank you for pointing that out. Just decks. Decks would be good. Dex has, uh, I'm just gonna put everything on Moxfield now because Stream Decker has been having so many problems. I don't think I wait for this not to be able to be up for days. All good, King. I mean, I get days, it is, it's like, sure. You got it. Like one of the, one of the ways we lose is getting way sent out. So this hand is a pretty good way to get around that, which is nice.
It's a really unique deck. I'm just like, I mean, I'm getting awkward draws or I don't know. It's like so hard to balance like, like Reclaimer is obviously really strong. But like having like two or three green mana sources, like green lands in the deck, it's so loose. Again, small sample size, small sample size. So take it with all with a grain of salt. Just bolting it. Yeah, and holy heating, that's a smart play. I agree. Hmm. The play here. Uh, Mav's an interesting draw. Map is super interesting. Do you want to play and crack it this turn? Merktide? Oh, it could bog him to get her on Merktide. Yeah, it's true. Alright, let's start with map. A oh, map only costs one. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking I had Sphere the whole time. I was, I was, I was still thinking I had to play around Sphere, which obviously is not the case. I'll play Crucible here. Hopefully this gets forced. Second days would be irritating. Obviously. Should always play around them having every days. Oh, that they, they had a meltdown. Obviously. So sick. Double days meltdown. And force also. No. Okay. 
Just a bowmaster? That's still in your deck? Thoron's Ransom, huh? Why would they do that in response in case I gave him a force a little? Or like, I don't know. Next game we're on the play though, so. All right, they kept Murktide Ponder. Okay. Yeah, they had a snuff out, okay. All right, oh, I'm not gonna wait for this person. Okay. Um. Looks like they might have boarded out a lot of creatures. Maybe they want... No, I mean, I left my thorns in, which would have been great. Lodestone, I don't think we're going to get snuffed out. Snuffed out and bolted. All right, I think we just run it back. Just, you know, it's Delver. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Alright, we have Who's gonna die in a meltdown, right? Just like stone dead to meltdown. I mean, we beat all counter spells. We only lose to the sideboard meltdown. So I think like we, we beat days and we beat force. We're good versus snuff out and bolt. We only lose to snuff the, the meltdown. So I guess wasteland. <laughs> I guess wasteland also. But oh well. Like I guess we're mulling to what? Like the thing about mulling like ancient tomb sphere is like you just get wastelanded and they like get out of it. Might have the audible from this deck. Don't do it. Come on. It has to be the easiest way to of your life. Don't give me a fucking hope. Come on. Bro, nice crucible rolls off the top.
Like if they didn't have any other land, how cool would that be? It'd be pretty cool, right? Oh! Nice days. I mean, Meltdown would still, like, destroy my fucking life, but... Sea of Resistance is kind of insane, right? Ten turn clock, baby. Let's go. Gigantha, baby. Force pitching days. Okay. Oh man, really breaks my heart to beat a Delver player like this. Just fucking eats me up inside. <laughs> Resolve. Are they dead on board? One, two, three, four, five. They have to be, right? Five, six, seven, yeah. What do we even get here? Doesn't matter, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, doesn't matter. I guess another Urza saga. Opponent took it like a champ, gave the GG's. Props to them. Okay. See what we're up against. Alright, so it looks like I don't... It looks like I'll just be playing Saga then. Alright, so it's just, just uh, a Reclaimer Mirror, huh? Okay, so... I guess I do still want to ancient tomb now. Good reverse snuff out. Yeah, so they had to use that. Okay. Super tilting, like, pretty fucking irritating, but. And they already have a cradle in hand. They got a Fiend Artisan. Okay. Get 
Okay, I can't do that. Okay. So you sack this, get a dryad arbor. I don't think we're dead, but it's looking rough now. That that that's not about turn really sealed it up. I mean, if they have natural order, it's all a moot point, you know? It's like being on the play means they can't once upon a time. Like, it literally just changes the whole game. I got that. They can still once upon a time. It's on my turn instead. <sighs> I mean, if you have it, math is for blockers, you know? Just <laughs> the pointless, <laughs> the pointless bowmaster first. Okay. Okay. We gotta hope this last card's a dud and not like, I guess what could it be, Green Sun maybe? I mean, I'm still getting hit for fucking six here. I'm... That was a free attack, right? That was, that was like literally a free attack. Wow. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time for that. Let's see what we have in here. Shadow Spear. Shadow Fear is something, I guess. There's no way we're winning, right? There's no way we're winning. Alright. Let's try to uh, win some post-board games. These Storm of Amethyst have been so fucking terrible. <laughs> I haven't faced anything that it matters. Do I want to crack Caracas just for Atraxa? I mean, if they get Atraxa in play, I'm probably going to lose. I don't think I want Tormod's Crypt. I think Bog's fine. Glacial Chasm, it might be good. They're going to bring in Force of Vigor. Either Spalwam also seems pretty bad. I'll uh, play. Let's try this. I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing. Don't love it, but we do have our turn one reclaimer, uh, white, white mana for the plow, which is hard for the deck to find. Card is so busted. Could plow that, I guess. Probably have to plow it, right? So we do have a, we have the thespian stage, so we probably just get a dark depths. And just do it main phase to play around Basaju.
Okay. That was nice. <laughs> we'll take we we'll take those. Take those. Um I always love a free one. Can you just run it back? I'm not sure about the lodestones. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. We do have a garden in Saga. We might be able to try to get some, some of that action going. Go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. They're just gonna make a token. They might have force a vigor here. They slow roll the cradle, okay. So I'm probably gonna get map. Probably gonna get map for wasteland on the cradle since we sort of have them locked under these spheres. Kind of all in on this uh, lockout plan. Because we can make, can I make it so they have to start chumping? That's the big thing. Plus three, I don't think so. No, I can copy, but I, I won't be lethal. But I think I, I'm just going to attack with both. Copy it. Oh, he said, they, I guess they're in chat. They said, turn off the stream. It's a nice thing for them to do. Go ahead. How much does this cost? Seven now? I think it'll actually cost five. Damn. So I, I basically can put them into abyss mode. 
I think I'm gonna attack here. I think I'm just gonna bog them, not play needle. They can green sun for one. I mean, Grist costs six mana right now. Okay, so they have a reclaimer, okay. Yeah, but the thing is, I wouldn't be able to play Lodestone this following turn. So they're getting in for three, okay. I am going to have to take four here. One, two, three, four, five. Reclaimer might be just enough. Maybe I had the Needle Reclaimer blind, assuming that they would just draw it. Like, needling this was my only thought that turn. Could be why I lose. Though they are on Abyss, they'll have to block two. They have to block both. I can needle reclaimer here. It forces them to action. They'll have to use their lands. I attack with both. Like cradle won't do too much, right? It'll just be plus one mana. I think I attack with both. See what they do. To copy this would I would have to pay two life. Lose two life. So if they attack, I guess I, let me let me just attack first. I think. Do you have like an endurance? They can play an endurance here. So this is currently one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I think I just have to, I don't think I can copy Lodestone. I don't think I can copy Lodestone. Because I would have to take two, I'd go to four. I guess I would just go to four and it would give me three attackers next turn. What's the difference? One, two, three, four. I don't think there is that much of a difference. Oh, I don't need, I, I just need a... Because it gives me three attackers next turn. Five spheres. <laughs> Is that enough for the cradle deck? Wow. Looks like. 
I love having Mox Diamond in one land. Fucking love it. Nothing makes me happier. Nothing makes me happier. This is probably a keep bottoming crucible. Oh, Lands? Oh, Lands is fucking probably unwinnable. Lands is unwinnable. Did not want this sphere. Did not want this sphere. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to scoop. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just not even going to reverse Lands. I'm just not, I'm just not even going to face them. I have, I have no shot there. Uh, try to bring stuff in. Cut all our spheres because they're going to be the better land. Uh, <laughs> they're going to be the better denial deck. Uh, and then we can just try this. This seems much better. Probably don't even want lo loads of attacks, I guess, but it seems so bad. I just want to add more creatures. <laughs> like, I think it's going to have loads down. Um, I'm going to keep it. It has the Seiju and it has Surgical, so. But land seems fucking miserable. I'm gonna keep the Beseju. See if they have the nuts again. Of course they do. Why would those lands not have the nuts? The literal, literal best possible start every fucking time. Like, I can, lands is just unreal with draws like this. Oh my god, they gave me green. That's so nice of them. Oh man. Do I go after library or saga? I think I go after saga. No, my saga is better than their saga, I think. I can just go after library. I think my saga is better. Yeah, they're alright. So we're fine. We're fine. These workshops, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to let that go. I don't think I'm gonna waste a Besaju on that. I think I need to save it for the con I think I need to save it for like the dark depths. I have a surgical right now. If they like needle saga, that's fine. Yeah, having the them having Yavamaya is was so good for us. And they got map? Sure. I wonder what they're gonna get. Actually, I think I'm okay trading. Huh. 
Oh man, I have so many options actually. I can just get an expedition map here. I get surgical there, sagas. Yeah, expedition map. So workshop, just say go. So my workshop taps for <laughs> my workshop is at... oh they they fucking top deck another saga. Oh, that's so tilting. <laughs> so I was about, like thinking about surgical like it. They're letting me What? Okay. Wasteland here. Oh, hey, where am I? It's pretty nice as well. I can just surgical their thespian stages. I'm gonna leave this for now, I think. Oh, next turn I can play Gigantha actually like super easily. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, next turn I'm just gonna play Gigantha. Wow, drawing really badly. Try to get him dead. They drew a blast zone, which doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, I actually do want to plow this. Plowing this gives me a two turn clock. Dead on board, baby. Naturally drew three sagas, damn. Naturally drew three workshops. What's better? <laughs> Which card's better? All right, that was a nice one. Can't believe we actually won that. It's not too fucking horrendous. That's cool. Yeah, they hit. They hit was really is exploration. Sylvan Library start too. Honestly, I have, like, pretty, like, uh, casting Amber Cool is not unreasonable. It's not factory, isn't it? Isn't it workshop? Workshop, not factory. Come on. Factory is unplayable. Workshop is a staple. Like, a Mox Diamond with the one. How do I keep having fucking one-landers with this fucking deck? 
I think I, I think I boarded up to like 30 lands. Yeah, added two lands. If we're at 30 lands and I have a one lander. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Mulling the five, love to see it. I'm gonna go for like an, a diamond opal start, and it's 100% just gonna get like vigored. Yeah, like they, they, they probably kept some fucking god awful hand. Alright, alright. I don't want to keep stage. Sure. <laughs> like, you, you literally can't make that shit up. That's so fucking insane. What are the odds of me drawing a Mox Diamond instead of a land? A 3 of instead of a 28 of? That's so funny. It's just so... Ah! <laughs> then why is Tabernacle in your deck? What? <laughs> why is that your fucking deck? Oh my god, this is the fucking biggest fucking scam I think I've ever been a part of. <laughs> this is like such a fucking scam way to lose. Oh wow, they have the literal god draw, huh? The god draw... Because they, they, it's literally perfect because they have Blast Zone for my Dreadnoughts if I copy them and Tabernacle if I don't. Holy shit. Like, what a nutty fucking hand from them. This is a mold of five, by the way. <laughs> Fucking mold of five. How insane is that? <laughs> what a mold of five. Holy shit. So sick. Wow, they hit Thespian stage as well. Opponent is playing for keeps. Holy shit. So they have a do they have another loam in hand. They have another loam. So bananas. I didn't miss an attack. I wanted to sack the mace of him. I'm 
So, what do I need here? Go. The fact that they have Crucible Worlds makes it kind of insane. And Sylvan Library, sure. If I draw a Gardens, actually, a Gardens would be something here. Damn it, just an Ancient Tomb. Pretty sure Ancient Tomb doesn't matter. They find dark depths. They could have gone a force of vigor, I guess, as well. Hmm. No basics in play. Probably supposed to keep my Thespian stage back. Oh, they just they drew up a Sage. Dude. That's really smart. It's a smart draw. Uh, I guess I'm not. I, mean, I can't imagine how I win this. You're in the wrong decade. And now they now they're recurring Besaju every turn. Because they're recurring Besaju now also, because they had double loam and crucible. I think I lose well, every time they, they just keep fucking up and giving me chances. <sighs> and because Blastone is gone and the Loams are gone. Well, now they have Wasteland. That makes it a little harder. Yeah, I don't know about infinite, but I feel like this game should have been over a while ago.
Oh yeah, they have this other wasteland, so I mean, we're probably still just going... Mm. Alright, I'm gonna give it up now. Yeah, the Land Reclaimer and Shadow Spear, playing for the Pity Chests. We are on the draw. Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb of us. Did not practice our dice rolling skills. Does it wait until they take like one game action for Giganta to pop out? No, it's over here. No, normally it pops out. Alright, opponent. Do your worst. They got a new follower? How come it didn't pop up on OBS? It's weird. Fucking reanimate. Oh. <laughs> the, the, the tank. <laughs> the, the tank on mask. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Resolves. <laughs> Casting the discard spell. Resolves. We got two priests, three surgicals, so let's see how, how that goes. Might as well keep playing chess. <laughs> it's like, I feel like this is going to take a while. They kept an unkeepable hand, it looks like. And we drew the perfects, so. Yeah, I mean this is this this is one hundred percent over now. Not even a game. It went from not being a game on their side to not being a game on our side. Cool. Maybe they misread their hand or misclicked. <laughs> like, it had to be some of the shit like that. Because that's just, like, not a thing. I'll bring an Emrakul for show and tell. I don't care. Sure. Though, if they show and tell, Archon just fucking doesn't do anything, right? I guess. Um, uh, needle is bad. Yeah, they definitely just had to take the mocks. That would have been pretty bad for me. Uh, probably can cut the Crucible. Oops. Almost forgot to slide the Surgical Extraction thing. Cut Lodestone Golems, maybe. Maybe I'll 
like the plows just in case something gets into play. Oh, but if they show until Archon, it just, <laughs> it's just fucked. It's just fucked. So, I don't think so. Um... Could be the Dreadnought. This Dreadnought has not come up one time. I can't fathom it's going to now. Uh, on the play, I would snap this off. If this was game three, I'd snap this shit off so fucking fast. <laughs> Turn on Reclaimer Thorn. Ironically, it's like the best hand I could have for. Her. Keep what the first one. One was no, not great. Okay, opponent's a gamer. Turn one, discard again. Should I surgical the grief? No. <laughs> Maybe they'll pick the wrong thing. I'll pick something a little more towards the end of the stream type music. Let's see if they actually have it this time. Dark Ritual? Oh, no. They actually kept a hand. Damn. Oh, they actually kept a hand they were supposed to keep. Shit. All right. It is reanimate. I'm going to take a draw because I can draw Caracas. So I'll take one draw. We are ahead three minutes on clock as well. Yeah, maybe on the play I want golems back in, but I don't know what I would cut. Maybe over the plows, just have golems on the play, the two of them. Oh, jeez. Tabletop chaos trap? I've not. No, I've not. I'm not typically a limited person. I certainly understand why there's an appeal to that more than other limited formats, though. But I wonder why my... You know what? I gotta check something. Let me see if... I wanna see if my... That a follower pops up on my dashboard. Because it did not pop up. Um, yeah, I did have a follower. Top deck here. Thanks for the follow. 
I appreciate that. Oh, they reanimated this? Okay. I might lose. If I draw Caracas, I can win. Okay. Um... So weird. I do not play much draft now. Do not really play any draft at all. But yeah, I mean, like, I understand tabletop. I can see that being a lot of fun, especially chaos. That makes sense. Like, like I, I could definitely 100% see it, but for me, it's just like, whenever I play, like, limited, I feel like, like the variance is just so much. I feel like I'm just, like, flooding or bricking on lands, or you just open a dog shit pool. You know what I mean? I don't know. So we go gardens... I don't think it matters, but it probably lead with gardens. Go. This is legacy, yes. Oh yeah, gar I, I mean, I feel like they're gonna play Serenity if anything, and we have the surgical. And we could crack this. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm not supposed to play map. Mm. Yeah, I feel like with this, it's okay. Maybe if I didn't have this, holding it up makes sense. Getting map down is, is just so big. Now we play workshop, and it looks like we're doing this. We could copy this. We have, we have options. But maybe I should have waited one turn. But yeah, uh, Season Veteran, no, if you're new around here, but there you go. You can check that out if you want to catch up on some Legacy. Wow, they have no fatties. Okay, so, and they discard. So, I'm going to Surgical the Faithless Looting. All right. They, they sided out three Faithless. There's no way you're supposed to do that. There's no way you cut Faithless looting. Right? Am I, am I out of my mind? That, are you really supposed to cut... They have four therapies in? Oh, Jesus Louise. I mean, if they use Petal Reanimate on Grief just to get an attacker, I'm going to let it go. I do have a Maze of Ith I can get, so... I feel like there's no way you cut cut lootings, right? Because like lootings let you dig to like your side the answers you need and discard like the dead card. Just crazy. I should have screenshotted it, but I was just like too blown away. I suppose. Oh, hold on. How do I shut this off? That's what I think it is. Stupid Twitch has this alert thing that I don't want on, and I think it's on. Yeah, if they go to reanimate grief, it's probably just fine. Yeah, no. I'm, there's, there's no way I'm popping this. They do, they literally just have to... They could draw, like, just an Entomb and I lose. Uh, yeah, so I'm not doing that. Blue. 
Let's go. I got a fifth of my alerts, though. It's kind of annoying. Uh, this come, upcoming turn, I think I'm just going to go get a Saga. attack here I guess that you know I'm, I'm gonna use the pedal and sack the Caracas and then the yeah, no, I'm gonna sack Caracas for Urza Saga and we should be done This workshop is just adding mana like fucking crazy, huh? Fucking Urza's workshop here. Man, yeah, I'm probably supposed to copy Thorn instead of. <laughs> but like I don't know what do they go land dark ritual like yeah, I didn't need, I'm never gonna cast this but it's just nice that, that I have it I think we got the three two. Lost the lands, you know, which was sort of expected. Let's go, baby. Three two. I got a capricious of freet as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. It was better than I thought. I probably sideboarded badly. I don't think there's enough green sources. I, I don't know. But it was not so bad.